Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. I am Jenki Daniel. I have a confession to make. I'm using filters to enhance my eyebrows and my lips. This is because I usually record these videos late at night and I have no time to put on makeup. But I don't want to look unkempt in front of you. So I use this trick. But you know, filters are actually taken to extreme nowadays. You could be watching a video or looking at a picture of a person who doesn't really own that face or body. They use not really just filters, but highly sophisticated editing tools to show a perfect self. This is what's called beauty augmented faces. In our Christian life, we also have that. We have realities that we think are augmented and believe to be true. For example, that a child in the womb of a woman is just a pool of blood and can be disposed of because it's inconvenient or because the woman has a right to her own body and she is merely disposing something that is she, she doesn't want that's disposable. Or that the Ten Commandments are optional and they're just suggestions. No need to follow them. There's no consequence anyway. These are dangerous things. They're actually no longer augmentations of reality, but they're actually outright lies. And for this, we need the truth, or else our souls are destined to perdition. How then can we figure out what is true and what's not? For those beauty augmented faces, they're actually experts that show us how to distinguish the telltale signs of real or fake videos. In our Christian life, the Bible shows us what are the telltale signs of truth and lies. One way to equip ourselves is to continue to be faithful in prayer and scripture. In praying and reading the Bible, we get to know God. And the more we spend time with Him, the more we get to know Him, the more we know how He thinks. And because of that, when we encounter something that is not true, we are immediately alerted. And we can tell ourselves, that's not God's way. Another thing that we can find comfort in is the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. The Holy Spirit can give us the power to discern what is true and what is not. It is a gift that He actually wants everyone to have, so that we will not be easily fooled by lies, but rather always be stuck to the truth. The truth is that our enemy, Satan, has already been convicted and has already been condemned. He is already a losing enemy. He has lost, and our God is already a victorious God. The problem is, Satan is also quite vengeful, and he'll try to bring as many souls as he can down to condemnation with him. We don't want to be part of that. We want to belong to the Lord, who is the truth. Therefore, brothers and sisters, ask yourselves always, where am I lying to myself? Where am I not believing in the Lord? Where am I attracted to? Ideas that I'm attracted to. Are they real? Are they true? And when you have doubts, bring them to Jesus. Because Jesus, who is the truth, can set you free. Thank God for our Savior. Good day, brothers and sisters.